What's up, fiends? Alan Card here, and welcome back to Happy Holidays. Today, we're going to talk about the brand spanking new movie on Shutter, Christmas Bloody Christmas, from writer director Joe Bagos, and Channel 83 Films, RLJE Films, and Shutter. It stars Riley Dandy, Sam Delich, Jonah Ray, Jeff Daniel Phillips, and Kansas Bolene even has a small role. Uh, this was released on Shutter on December the 9th in the U.S. So the basic plot of Christmas Bloody Christmas is about a crass female record store owner named Tori. And she's going to go out uh, to party on Christmas Eve uh, with a male co-worker. Their festivities, however, get interrupted by a robotic killer Santa Claus named Robo Santa Plus. So it's basically High Fidelity versus Santa Terminator if it were co-written by Kevin Smith and Rob Zombie. Uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, I actually enjoyed this movie a lot for what it is. Um, you know, it's not supposed to be high art. It's a slasher flick. And that's what we get. So let's get into all the complaints everyone has. Uh, the first half is very dialogue heavy. Um, some people are even saying it's a bit tedious, which I get. The characters all kind of come off as unlikable and obnoxious and aggressive. But I was with them because I actually know people very much like these characters. Um, so that didn't really bother me. And throughout the film, there are, and uh, I didn't count this, this is a number I got off the internet, but there are apparently 487 F-bombs in this movie, which averages out to 5.6 per minute. So, yeah, um, I do agree it's a bit much, but again, I know people that legitimately kind of talk like this, so it didn't bother me. Uh, at all. There's also copious amounts of uh, sexual talk, and there's actually two sex scenes as well. Um, this one is definitely not for the kiddos. You may want to uh, not show them this one. <laughs> oh, and uh, most of the male characters all look alike. And But the even funnier part is they all kind of look like the director. <laughs> and uh, Jeff Daniel Phillips, to me here, was kind of just wasted. As the sheriff he didn't have much of a part and it was just i guess they kind of used him more for the horror cred so this movie does take itself very seriously despite the fantastical nature uh, of the story um the, the levity is mostly through the kills really um and but the, the thing i like is that nobody is spared including kids like this robot santa um, it well, you know, it's a robot, so it has no feelings, so it's just going to kill anything in its way. There's really great uh, practical special effects and really fun gore throughout all the kills. Um, there's a really cool synth score by Steve Moore, um, it, which, which really amplifies uh, the 80s vibe that they're going for in this movie. And the cinematography really, really pops. There's bright colors, you know, the reds and greens everywhere. You know, it's Christmas time. And I really do have to give it up for uh, Riley Dandy. Because even though Tori, her character, is, is super obnoxious at first, um, she kind of she makes this turn. And then she becomes like this super badass girl that you're just completely rooting for fighting this robot Santa. And speaking of Robo Santa, um, in in his like human form, I guess you could say, because you know he looks human, right? Um, he kind of lacks um, some of that robotic nature. Every once in a while, it'll pop out, but they kind of cover that up uh, by by saying he's very lifelike. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll I'll give him that one. Um, and I do have a couple of fun facts for you. The star Riley Dandy apparently has a penchant for Christmas movies because she has been in three other 
Christmas movies as of the past couple of years. Uh, this is the only horror one, though. The other ones were all kind of, you know, the sappy Christmas movies that they always do. Uh, Jonah Ray um, is probably best known for his role in the Mystery Science Theater 3000 reboot. It was it was a bit strange uh, seeing him in a sex scene, uh, to be honest. <laughs> but it, it, it was fine. It, it worked. Um, and director Joe Bagos actually did the main title animation sequence as well. I thought that was pretty cool. So you have the first half of the movie, which is sort of a mixture of clerks and high fidelity. And then it turns into a Silent Night, Deadly Night, Terminator mashup. To me, this movie is really 80s beats the 90s. And it just kind of meshes. And But I thought, it, I thought they did it quite well. I'm going to give Christmas Bloody Christmas four out of five stars. It's not for everyone. I will say that. But the ones that will enjoy it, I think will like it a whole lot. Um, this is another one I really believe you're either going to love it or hate it. Um, I rather enjoyed it despite its flaws. I said it's very well done. The effects are great. Um, the acting. I really liked the acting in this movie. I thought it was natural. I thought it worked. Um, I know some people really didn't like the acting, but, you know, to each his own. You know, that's why this is an opinion. You know, everyone's got one. <laughs> you know, my, my word is not law. It's just, you know, it's just this is my opinion. Um, so that's my review. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like some more. So until next time, remember to stay spooky. Peace.